Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to have 100 babies. And we also do daily quests here that could kill our Sim that might give us money or lose us money. So the NPC family has 12 kids. We are trying to beat them and they only have to age up in order to move out, but we have to do a lot of work on the kids in order to get them aged out. We're tied right now at 12, but Paris only has two more weeks left. So she will be an elder in 13 days. And as you notice, it is Monday instead of our usual Sunday. That is because yet again, I forgot to check the video feed in order to make sure that it was actually being recorded. So I only had audio for Sunday. Now, not a lot happened, so I will just catch you up. So Paris finished her lone wolf aspiration because she finally found a werewolf to spar with. We learned how to make the wolf be gone cure so that we can get the next matriarch or patriarch, which might be Doza, might not, and to not be a werewolf. And Sesto moved out. So Sesto built this rocket ship and was able to launch it five times and then get his last reward trait. So he is gone. We do have room for another baby. Seven is still working on getting her next reward trait. Um, actually, no, I think she did get it. So yes, she has all of the reward traits that she needs, but she needs to get five stars for odd jobs. And then we'll have room for another baby. Octavian has just started in his journey. He is working on his fabrication skill and he needs to recycle five times to get the first step of the Master Maker aspiration. And he also joined the streamer career. So he's going to be a video game streamer. He's now level two because I think the family club actually gives him a small boost to the career when he joins it. And same for Nina. She was promoted to level two of the lifeguard career, even though she just joined it. So Nina is working on getting one step of the Zen Guru aspiration done. And then we have Dix, who is still a child. He needs to be a friend with three children. And then I think Dix would be able to age up after that. No, he's a C student. Okay, so Dix has a long ways to go. And then we have Ven, who is still a toddler and has most of his skills still needing to be improved. He needs to get level five and all of those skills. And then we have Doza, who for some reason is still awake. I don't know what's wrong with her. I can't get her to sleep. Anyway, she doesn't have very many milestones at all. She has the fine motor, learn to grab and learn to reach, but she doesn't have lifted head or all of her socials yet. She almost has babbling for social. So she's going to be there very quickly for social, but motor skills, we're just not working on it. Because Paris has been trying to complete her collection. What I really wanted to do is finish this collection and we are missing one wolf. And unfortunately, those are pretty rare. So hopefully we can finish that before Paris moves out as an elder. It's not a requirement, but I kind of wanted to do it. So for Sunday, we had license a song for piano. And we did that because Paris actually has the piano skill already at level 10. And she had even already written a song. So we just licensed the song that we wrote last time. I think we failed that quest last time. So this one was kind of a freebie. And we got 85%. So 85% of 882,697 is 750,292 for a total of 1,632,939. All right, so we have way too much money. Hopefully we don't fail a quest. And what are we going to do on Monday? So our next quest is going to be buy at least one item from each store. Okay, so we have stores in the world that are placed by the community of Dr. Gluons. 
basically we've been trying to use those to build up the hotel but now we need to buy at least one item from each store for our current house and to be honest we really don't have any room here to put things so they're going to have to be decorative and even decorative items i'm not so sure so it's time to try to find the next baby daddy and let's see if cletus is interested or not no cletus is not interested okay and what about thomas uh, it seems like he might be and first kiss already by the dumpster well trying for baby in the dumpster because it's free and paris is eating for two and good, I was able to finish a project, so we got extra credit, but we need to go to school now. Everyone go to school. Oh, seven is already five stars in odd jobs. She has emotional control and range. Then she has the reward traits, seldom sleepy, mentor, and storm chaser. I had to add back the fear of failing classes, and I think that one keeps clearing because Seven is not in school, so I'm going to have to stop letting them graduate early. She is a workaholic. She finished the first step of the bodybuilder aspiration, and she's going to have the Star Wars aspiration as her adult aspiration. Well, we can age up Seven. Now, I know that gives us room for twins, but we're not going to get twins because Paris is already pregnant. And the way that it works, at least in my experience, is the number of babies do not change. The gender can be changed, but the number of babies is determined basically at the time of woohoo. So we're only going to get one more child, but after that, we can immediately have another one. And happy birthday, Seven! There's only 14 minutes left on this cake. Oh, and Seven is going to be self-assured. For some reason, she had a self-discovery right as she's aging up. Um, I don't know how this is going to affect her traits. Um, maybe it's because she has emotional... No, it's not emotional control related. I don't know. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm going to say yes, but maybe this is going to block us from choosing a random trait. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. So I've never seen that happen where she had a self-discovery right as she's aging up. Okay. She's going to be hot-headed and self-assured, apparently. She's a goofball and paranoid, and we're going to pick a Star Wars aspiration. It doesn't matter which one, because I'm going to switch it back to the bodybuilder aspiration. The only reason why I pick a different one for the adults is so that they can get a different trait. So she's going to be a prepared voyager. And then she can quit all of these part-time jobs that she has, actually. Well, she's a workaholic. She might need to keep a job. Okay, since she has the bodybuilder aspiration, I'm just going to enroll her in the athlete career because I don't want her to lose her workaholic lifestyle. And then Seven gets to take 20,000 simoleons with her. But we still have plenty. We have over 1.6 million. While the kids are at school, I'm going to go to the shops and make our purchases. So this is the little shop by Tara Watson. Oh, this one has Apache. I don't think we have Apache. I know we probably should have had one for our crop challenge. We also don't have a bee box or a Mighty Might Home insect farm, but those are less pressing. I think I'm just going to try to choose one item from each shop and not get a whole bunch. Oh, and another thing that's kind of annoying me is that all of these paintings, you used to be able to download them from the gallery and now for some reason in my game at least all paintings and fo and photos are showing up as black and it's just annoying so we are going to buy patchy the scarecrow at this shop and this is the little shop by seeking Susie. oh there are a lot of things here outside i mean it's a good thing it's not raining because don't all of these things get broken in the rain well here is a nice camera and it's green paris likes green 
Or should I just get a giant stuffy for the kids? We don't have any stuffies at home, but it's because we can't really fit anything inside. It's too bad there isn't a tripod. Now, Paris doesn't have a camera. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Um, no, I'm not. All right. Well, unfortunately, I can, I can just steal it. Um, yeah, that should not be possible, but it's not set for sale. So I can't get that one. None of these things, that, well, none of the cameras are set for sale. A fixer bot. Oh, that is interesting. I think I'm going to buy that. And it didn't cost any money for some reason. Okay. That does not count as buying something. Let's buy the wall clock with the werewolf. I think that will look good in Paris's place. Um, there are some other nice things, but to be honest, I could probably get any of those other things from Build Buy. But I think for the werewolf clock, you have to be in a certain pack in alpha or delta or, or or beta or something you have to be high level in a pack and i don't know which one that one is but i like that clock okay that actually cost us money and this is the little shop by regan so they have some outdoor patio furniture which is nice because mine always gets stolen but if i buy that it's just going to get stolen later well, I don't really see anything else I'm interested in. And if I buy the umbrella patio table, I won't have any chairs. They have this one, but that doesn't really match. I'll just buy some and build by. And this is Little Kia by Aluna Star. Well, we have a very huge outdoor fireplace and grill set up with a bar. Oh, those are nice. Everything here is nice. I kind of like that outdoor setup. I don't think I need anything for inside again because I just don't have the room. I think I'm going to buy like this entire outdoor patio setup and see how much of it gets stolen. Oh wait, there's meatballs! There's little Italian meatballs! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, I also want this postcard holder because it's green. Alright, there we go. We kind of migrated the setup over here. And we actually put the lawn chairs next to the fire pit where all of the food will be cooked. And I don't know why, but there is absolutely no chair that matches this table. This umbrella has this color of green that is just not in any of the chairs that I could find. So anyway, I did the best that I could that kind of matches, but not quite. And then we put Patchy over here. Oh, and actually put the fixer bot and the wall clock in my, oh, and the grill in my inventory. Okay, so we are missing a grill over here. Not like I expect the grill to last very long. It'll probably be stolen immediately. And just so the clock doesn't get stolen, we can put it in the infant room. I'm going to allow myself to recolor them. I almost forgot it's the full moon and I have to harvest these moon petals in the full moon. And you can't plant them, so you can't get more of them. You can only harvest them from this one plant that has them. And no, don't, don't, don't pay attention to the baby. Come get the moon petal. So basically what you can do though, is you can go around to each lot in Moodwood Mill and they will respawn for each lot. Now I was only able to get four out of the, I don't know, maybe five lots that are in Moonwood Mill, but that's okay. We can make a couple of cures with that. So I turned the werewolf library into a school and basically just cleaned out the computer desk area and put some classroom bulletin boards in here and all of the students are going to be in here. So the reason why I did this is just in case I get the teenage aspirations that require me to come to school and join a T-pose or something like that. And it looks like I'm not going to have time to do my introductory tasks, but that's okay. Well, it's the end of the day. Now time to figure out how much we lose. Oh, it's going to be high. 87%. And 87% of 
3 million about is about 2 million. And we're left with 298,032 simoleons. That's still a lot. And I think that we should be able to build it back up with the next few quests. And I think that's worth it in order to not have to raise a toddler all the way through to adulthood. All right, so which quest are we going to be doing today? Please, no more adoptions. We've already had three. Get a roommate. Only problem with that is where are they going to sleep? Um, I have to have enough beds. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, here's what I did. I just put a whole bunch of bedrooms in the back. I did take the one tile extra for the baby we're about to have, but haven't quite had yet. So we don't get a new tile when the new baby is born. And then we have eight beds, but we're going to have an infant and a newborn. And we actually also have a toddler. So hopefully they don't count. I did check and she's able to ask someone to be her roommate right now. So this is basically the layout. The two bedrooms in the back, then there's this office area, and we have the small hallway kitchen, and then the baby's room up front. Unfortunately, I have no more seating, but we do have this table out here and the bar seating outside. Um, if we don't get any of that taken from us. So we'll see how that goes. Now, where is the bathroom, do you ask? Well, I got this bathroom. So this allows you to use the bathroom and to take a shower. Okay, so we did get a roommate. What is his name? Okay, his name is Bo Blackwell. Yeah, that's a nice place to search for a roommate. Is that a bar? Well, it is what it is. Oh, and he put a radio in his room? No, I'm sorry, you cannot have a radio. That is going to keep you up. I put the coffee maker back. Okay, making the first will be gone, although Paris is not very good at it. All right, the first one we're going to cure is Octavian. And Octavian is no longer a werewolf. Okay, he's still our roommate. I had to reinvite him as a roommate because I think he left due to not having any room around his bed. But I did make this dresser available and got rid of the coffee machine because I don't think we need any coffee. So we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get 13%. That's not that great. Why couldn't I lose 13% and gain 87%? Well, 13% of 294,230 is 38,250 for a total of 332,480. Now, what is the quest we are going to do for Thursday? Hopefully it's not something too difficult. Hire a scheduled maid. Um, we have a scheduled maid. We've gotten this one several times. And since I think we already have a scheduled maid, I am going to veto this and re-roll. That's just free money. I mean, I don't need it to be that easy. Win a lightsaber duel. That one's bad because we have to go to Batu. I don't think I saved the lightsabers that I had before. I think I got rid of them thinking, oh no, I'll never need that again. And I, of course, don't have them at all. Now, actually, I did not get rid of them. I remember it's these boxes. They glitched. For some reason, when I loaded up the game this week, they were completely empty. And I'm pretty sure that I did not do that on purpose. Maybe. I don't remember. I might have gotten rid of them on purpose and it might have been a glitch. I don't know. And Paris is about to give birth. Well, I cannot go to Batu until we have the kid and the kid is an infant. 
and you technically can't go to the two with infants, but I can finagle it so that it works. Well, Dix is actually ready to age up. Okay, I think Doza is going to do it. She's going to stand. Come on, Doza, hurry up before somebody sits in that chair. All right, so she's going to stand up. And then I think we have maybe pincer grasp that we need to get. Yeah, and then that'll be it. And there's the pincer grasp. And Paris has gone into labor. So I'm going to have an infant no matter what I do. And so what will we get? A girl or a boy? And it's a boy. So we're going to name him Baker. Well, happy birthday, Doza. You actually don't need a cake. And Doza's going to be silly. Oh no, Paris is hysterical. That's not good. We need to calm down. Okay, happy birthday, Baker. And Baker is sensitive. All right, just stopping at the local grocery store to get some cakes because we have to have a cake for the toddler and the child. Happy birthday, Vin. Okay, and Vin is going to be a dog lover. And let's see which aspiration we're going to do. Creative genius. And then it's time to figure out what character trait we will be getting. It looks like irresponsible. And the reward trait that is based on needs. Seldom sleepy. And then we get two other traits. And these cannot have anything to do with needs. Always welcome is the first one. And what will the second one be? These are usually cheaper as well. Connections is the other one. All right, sometimes we have to join the job as a child if they happen to be a scout or a drama club kid. But Vin is going to be a simfluencer. And then there's a fear that he cannot get rid of. However, this doesn't always get assigned as a child. Sometimes you have to wait until a teenager. Oh, fear of being inferior. And then a lifestyle that we need to earn, which he can't really make progress on until he's a teen. Oh, that's a toughie. I haven't done this one. Hungry for love. Okay, and Ben's aspiration as a teenager and then probably an adult will be... No, no, Master Vampire, great. Well, we'll definitely have to cure him if he ends up being a werewolf. And then the secondary trait that he gets when he ages up to adult is going to be athletic. And then we roll to see if we're going to change his gender. No. And we'll then prefer female clothing or male clothing. It will be male clothing because that is his original gender. And then do we change him to be infertile? Okay, so yeah, 0%. A 0 is definitely a change. So in this case, Vin will able to become pregnant because that's the option. If, if you're a male and you roll less than five, then we change your gender option to be able to become pregnant. And then if you get between five and ten, it would be infertile. All right, and because we're changing the gender options, I do have a pronoun role for if he prefers they, them. No, he's going to stick with he. So if it's less than 20, we go with they, them. And what about sexual orientation? So it looks like it's going to be 80. And that means Ven is going to be gay. Okay, and I generally match their woohoo interest to their romance interest unless this is above a 94 and it looks like they match so then we'll be interested in romancing men and woohooing men and then we have a role for a hearing aid because I don't like just using the random outfits to see if they have a hearing aid or not no hearing aid 
And then for glasses, which I will change all of his outfits to have glasses if this is lower than a 10. No glasses. Okay, and he's going to like strange tunes, rascals, and complaints, and dislike pink and pipe organ. So what I normally do is just go through his outfits and make sure he's not wearing pink. Doesn't, oh, no, there's a pink one. All right, so we just changed the color on that to be something else. Let's give him a purple one, and then we'll give him the purple variant for his swimwear as well. All right, there we go. No more pink. Okay, and now it's Dix's turn. So Dix is going to become a teenager. Happy birthday, Dix. And Dix is a dog lover and adventurous. So the next aspiration that he's going to work on is the soulmate aspiration. All right, we were able to make another wolf be gone for Nina. Since she doesn't have a werewolf aspiration, she doesn't need to be a werewolf. The only problem is I don't have very many wolf spain. I only have six moon petals, which can make two more, but I need ten wolf spain every time I make one. And I really haven't been too good about collecting it. Okay, welcome to Batu, and we can actually have the others join the vacation if we invite them after we've left someone home with them. So Octavian is at home, everyone else came, and I did not select to take Baker, the infant, or Richie the cat, or Pepper the horse. But if I go to my friend panel and invite from my friend panel, then I think, yes, we have Baker showing up. And we're going to have Richie, and pepper the horse and we're going to have them all here just because i can now we have to add all of the stuff to take care of them in build mode because unfortunately we can't bring any items with us so normally i could bring these items in my inventory but since i can't i'm just going to add them here okay we don't have enough for both a crystal and a hilt i don't think okay we don't want a display case the cheapest hilt is, well, all of them are 250 simoleons, and then the kyber crystals are 450. We only have 511. Okay, well, I will get a hilt, and then we need to earn some more. And I think the only one is, oh, good, this Welcome to Batu for, uh, Dix is actually going to give us enough to buy a kyber crystal so I can afford one lightsaber. And who bought something for 46 simoleons? Oh well, I don't care. You, Paris, bought a drink. It's a good thing it charged me simoleons instead of Batu credits. I think it's supposed to charge you credits. So let's see if we can do an enchanting introduction. Oh, Richie is passing away. No, not in Batu. Oh, come on. I did not expect that. Well, there goes my cat. Well, it's good to know that Grim shows up in Batu. Now everyone's going to be super sad. Come on, Grim, hurry up. You're stalling me. All right. I'm sorry, Richie. We will take you home, though. All right. We got a lightsaber. Okay. We're going to try the lightsaber duel with Nina because she has level six fitness and she was the most prepared for this. This takes a long time, though. Hopefully we can finish before midnight. I think we only get one chance at this. Are we winning or not? I don't know. It's still going. No, we lost. Oh, great. Okay, we were able to start it in time with Paris, but this is definitely going to go past midnight. I'm going to count it since she actually started the duel before midnight, though. Paris is level 7. Okay, she got 200 credits, so I think she won. But it just takes forever for the animation to complete. Yeah, she won. 
So we get to spin the winning wheel, and what percent will we get? No. A hundred percent? Well, it's a good thing we actually decided to do that. I was actually debating skipping it. That would have been a disaster. So 329,726 simoleons for a total of 659,452. Now let's see what quest we're going to do for Friday. Open a vet clinic. Okay, we actually already have one. So we just need to run it for eight hours. And we probably need to update it a little bit. So while we're waiting for morning to come, we might as well work on the next baby. And trying for baby. I just forgot though, because I don't have a toilet. I can't check for pregnancy. You can't check with this. Well, we actually purchased a new pet hospital. So this one has a lot more than the other one. It actually has a full house upstairs. And besides that, it has a lot more things for people to steal because I have to have the neighborhood action plan sharing is carrying on. Now, hopefully my vet will get to work. She was sleeping on the bench outside before and we opened at 9 a.m. So we have to stay open until at least 5 p.m. Well, we're making some progress with Baker. He's actually able to lift his head and roll over to his back now. Maybe Paris should become a vet. Okay, that was the last client that I let in at 5 p.m. So we have to close now. And we netted 780 simoleons. Yeah, we do have an employee. Oh, I have not seen such a good temperament. Oh, where'd they go? Tell me they're not gone. I liked those temperaments. Where did they go? Um, well, it might be bugged. But basically, everything was blue. Three of them, well, three of them were blue. And one of them was racked with guilt. So, let's see if she can regain control. All of her temperaments are gone though. Why are they gone? Okay, they reappeared. We have Mark of the Wolf, which reduces your fury gain and your social need. Mark of the Forest reduces your fun decay and your fury gain. And then Mark of the Night, which reduces your fury gain and your energy need decay. So Paris has really good werewolf temperaments now. She does have the one where she gets sad. She gains more fury. But I think that'll be fine, even though a lot of times in this challenge, people are sad because of pets dying and also just people in general dying because the save is so old. So we get to spin the winning wheel for having the vet clinic open for eight hours. And we get 49%. Not bad. So 49% of 572,292 is 280,423. For a total of 852,715. So we're getting back up to the point we were last time. Now let's see what we have to do for Saturday. Hopefully it's not a hard one because this is the last day of the week. Free wishing will arrive safely and instantly from Simazon. Everyone makes a wish without tipping it. 10 times if a Sim dies. Yeah, but then I have to redo that baby. All right, well, I actually don't do the free stuff for the 100 baby challenge. The reason why I do free stuff with some of my other challenges is because the way that you have to buy things is that you actually have to find them in the shop. So since we can freely buy from Build Buy, I'm going to buy a wishing well. And I actually already have one. This one is a CC one though, and I don't use it for making wishes. So I will put a regular wishing well on here. Okay, the first one is going to be Paris. What should we wish for? <gasps> Youthful vigor? 
Um, I'm going to say that's allowed, although that is going to stink if she actually gets it. So what happens is it will reset her life stage. I don't know. That might be a bad deal because I was kind of looking forward to getting rid of the werewolf stage. But maybe we should try it just because we have the opportunity. I'm going to do it. She's pregnant, so she can't die. And if she gets this... Oh, no, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, she did not get it reset. She has extra spring in her step. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It looked like it was bad, but that wasn't actually bad. What it can do is max out your age bar and basically make you age up faster. And then Octavian, he doesn't need better grades because he has an A. He is already ready to get promoted, but he needs to get his entrepreneur skill up to level four. And he's almost there too. So he really doesn't need performance at his job. What can he make a wish for? And we don't need a promotion. I guess we're going to wish for romance. Because this wish is actually going to fail since the face has become mischievous and this is more unfriendly. Oh, roll over to Tummy Unlocked. Baker is working on milestones. That's good. Yeah, so what do you get for this? Okay, no romance for Octavian for four hours. Big deal. Okay, I guess Nina can wish for a promotion. Oh no, it's on death. She's going to get demoted or fired if I wish for a promotion. <laughs> oh well, I'm not allowed to tip it. That's fine. We have lots of time left with Nina anyway. Let's see what she gets. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be bad. Okay, hello Nina. This is your workplace calling with some wonderful news. Everyone here has been impressed with your work ethic and we're pleased to give you this bonus. We really wanted to promote you, but due to budgetary restrictions and ongoing headcount limitations, that simply wasn't possible. Hang in there. I'm sure we'll take care of you in the next review period. Oh, that's fine. She got a bonus. So she didn't get demoted at least. Okay, Dix is a high school B student and he needs to do odd jobs. So he doesn't need a promotion. All he needs is the school one, I guess. Uh, well, we have a neutral face. Let's make a wish for simoleons. Everyone should wish for something different. And we lost some simoleons. I don't know how much didn't seem like a whole lot. I missed that. <laughs> wow, Baker, you're just grinding out the milestones, but you need to go to sleep. Stop playing with the toys. Go to sleep. Okay, finally we reached Entrepreneur Level 4. I don't care about the rest of your stream. You don't need to complete it. We should get promoted the next time that we go to work. And I think other than being a health food nut, that's the last thing that Octavia needs. Oh, so our roommate is actually leaving. Sorry to go, but new adventures await. Goodbye. Okay, so he left on good terms. We're still left with this house with all these beds. I think I'm going to leave it that way, though. And we actually don't need to get a new roommate. Unless we roll that again. Okay, why does this say, hey, Nina, we're having a little get-together before prom. Want to join? But then it says Tiny Home Residential 100 Baby Paris. That is the house I'm currently at. So if I go, I'm staying here and we're having a gathering at my house? Sure, that's exactly what we're doing. And oh no, I should not have done that. I completely forgot that we have the Sharing is Caring Neighborhood Action Plan. You guys are going to steal all of my counters, aren't you? Oh, well. <laughs> we have 846,000 simoleons. And we completed the task for today already. So, uh, fine. Take all my counters. Take my computer. That's what you're going to do, isn't it? Oh, and he took the roommate's pot. Okay, that's fine. I don't care if you took that. 
Now I want to see if we can go to prom this time. I have been trying to go to prom and it's not been working. And since Dix has the romantic aspiration, maybe we should try to hook him up with someone. What about, oh, she, Bella's leaving. Everyone's leaving. Why is everyone leaving? It's not time for prom yet. Oh, sorry, Nina. You had to go to work. So she's not going to be able to go to prom. I did not realize that she had work. Well, work hard. Okay, so Dix is actually going to be not a werewolf anymore. We're getting rid of our last werewolf teen, and I don't think Ven is a werewolf, but we'll get another werewolf with Doza. All right, Dix, doesn't that feel much better? Okay, we're going to attempt to travel to prom, and we cannot bring Nina, unfortunately. Okay, finally it worked, I think. There are two teens here, which is us. And then this is the lot by James Turner, which is an abandoned factory warehouse or something like that. And I just basically turned it into an auditorium in Moodwood Mill. So this is where we have our prom and our graduation and the career day. It has everything that we need. And then on the top floor up here, I have a space for Paris and everyone else. So I think I can bring them all here. Oh, that's right. We don't have a cat anymore. I do not need to fill the cat bowl. <laughs> oh, well, that's actually really sad. All right. So let's just have some dinner, dance, and be happy. Oh, Doza needs some dinner. <laughs> Maybe we should pick up some dinner for her. Octavian is just a little bit uncomfortable. Otherwise, I would try to have him dance with someone. Oh no, it's actually Dix who needs to dance with someone. Okay. Oh, and the award ceremony is starting. Great. Prom doesn't last long enough. You don't get a chance to do anything, really. The award ceremony takes up most of the time. And Octavian got prom royalty. And Vincent Ward is the jester. And Dix is going to sweetheart dance with Leanne. Maybe he can flirt with her a little bit. Um, why is there no option to flirt with her? She is a teen. Oh, she's his cousin. Oh, how embarrassing embarrassing it's like why is there no option to flirt with her he likes women <laughs> she's his cousin i did not even know that wow i thought the sims would actually let cousins flirt with each other but no it does not if she's his cousin then Una would have had to have had a child. But I don't see that. How are they cousins? I don't see her in the family tree anywhere. Leanne Nakano. Okay, I have to figure out how these two are related. Okay, I don't feel so bad now. So here is what's happened. We have Danny Lopez, which is Dix's father or donor and Danny Lopez has a brother who is actually dead Randolph Goth and Randolph Goth had Leanne Nakano okay so yes they are cousins technically it's just strange because it's not cousins through Paris's family or the Sparks family so I had no way of knowing Imagine going to prom and finding a cousin that you didn't know about and sweetheart dancing with her before you knew she was your cousin. <laughs> well, sorry, Dix. There's going to be um, no romance tonight. And we got a bronze medal. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel, and what will be our percentage gain this time? Oh, it looks like a high one. 83% and 83% of 845,589 
is 701,839 for a total of 1.5 million in change. So that's the end of this week. And we have a little bit of time left with Paris still. She has eight more days until she ages up and all Octavian needs to do is get that health food nut lifestyle and then he needs to go to work once in which he will be promoted and then we will be saying goodbye to octavian so this is charity thanks for watching <laughs>